Have you ever been to a church service and they say, hey, today we're taking communion? And they give you this little wafer and this little bitty cup of Welch's grape juice. Well, maybe that's what they do in the South. I'm not sure where you're from, but that's how we do it here. But communion, what is that? Why? I mean, how often? What's this all about? Well, let me read a scripture to you. Actually, these are the words of Jesus. Luke chapter 22, verse 19, the word records that he, speaking of Jesus, took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it in pieces and gave it to the disciples saying, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. You see, in Luke chapter 22, Jesus institutes this sacrament, something that the church has been doing for thousands of years, taking bread and a cup and remembering the body, as it says there in Luke, but then also the blood of Jesus. We take bread and we take the cup to remind ourselves that we are forgiven because of the price that Jesus paid, that we are free because of the debt that Jesus paid, that we have a family, we're part of a church because of what Jesus did on the cross, and we are headed to heaven. We have a future, we're free, Oh, let me say this one more time. We're free, we're forgiven, we have a family, and we have a future. And communion reminds us of that. That's why we value communion as a church, because Jesus is our greatest value. And communion reminds us of who he is and what he's done so we can be his kids.